this section, I will give a quick introduction to one-to-one -one functions. A function is said to be one-to-one -one if any two different inputs in the domain correspond to two different outputs in the range. That is, if I have two different inputs x1 and x2, then their images should not be the same also. x1 will go to f of x1, x2 will go to f of x2. In other words, no y in the range is the image of more than one x in the domain. This configuration cannot happen for one-to-one -one functions. Of course, this configuration can happen if you have a function, but if you want it to be one-to-one, -one, this cannot happen. This is the only possibility. So for example, let us determine whether the following are one-to-one. -one. For the first one, this is one-to-one. -one. Every distinct element in the domain goes to distinct elements in the range. How about the second example? Notice that x1 and x2 went to the same image y1. So therefore, this is not one-to-one. -one. For the last one, this is not even a function because an element x1 went to two different elements in the range. In our previous video lectures, we presented four different ways to represent a function as a map, a set of ordered pairs, a graph, and an equation. What we will do is, given these various representations of a function, we will determine whether it is one-to-one -one or not. For the first one, our function is represented as a map and notice that 55 and 61 went to the same element in the range so therefore this is not one to one how about number two here our function is represented as a set of ordered pairs notice that all the x coordinates are not repeated and so are the y coordinate so if you have a set of ordered pairs for it to be one to one it must satisfy the conditions that all x coordinates are distinct and all y coordinates are distinct in this case this is true so therefore yes this is one to one how do we determine if a function represented as a graph is one to one this can be answered by our horizontal line test what you just need to do is to do a horizontal line. If every horizontal line intersects the graph of a function in at most one point, why is it at most one point? It is possible that your horizontal line will not intersect your graph. But in case it does, then it must intersect the graph at exactly one point. So for example, here I have a graph of a function when we draw a horizontal line, what you are doing there is you're actually getting one value for y. And if it intersects the graph at two points, let's say this is your x1 and this is your x2, this means that x1 and x2 went to the same y-coordinate h. And therefore, this is not one-to-one. -one. All right? So remember that the horizontal line test is a test to determine whether a function is one-to-one. -one. Take note that the prerequisite for the horizontal line test is that you already have a function. So for example, I have a graph like this. Is this one-to-one? -one? You would think that, yes, it satisfies the horizontal line test because if you draw a horizontal line, it will intersect the graph at exactly one point. However, you fail to do the vertical line test first. So remember, do not use the horizontal line test without using the vertical line test first. So the vertical line test is a sort of prerequisite for your horizontal line test. Let us apply what we have just learned. For each function, use its graph to determine whether the function is one-to-one. -one. So we have here our two polynomials, f of x equals x squared and g of x equals x cubed. We know that the graph of x squared is just a parabola. Therefore, if I draw a horizontal line there, it will intersect my graph at two points. So therefore, this is not one-to-one. -one. 
What about y equals x cube? If I draw any horizontal line, it will always intersect the graph at exactly one point. So therefore, this is 1 to 1. Let us recall monotonic functions. A function is said to be monotonic if it is either strictly increasing or strictly decreasing on that interval. Now, the nice thing about monotonic functions is that a function is monotonic if and only if it is 1 to 1. So this gives us a characterization of all 1 to 1 functions. So for example, if I have a line, this line over here is increasing everywhere. So therefore, it is monotonic. And hence, if you use the horizontal line test, it is 1 to 1. Whereas if you have your parabola over here, it is first decreasing and then increasing. Correct? So therefore, this is not monotonic on its domain. And therefore, it is not one-to-one. -one. Why are we studying one-to-one -one functions? In our next video lecture, I will show you that only one-to-one -one functions have their inverse functions.